What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media Channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I am Ken. Today, guys, we are here for the fourth episode of Physical Media Lives, my new series where I basically just show you all the 4Ks and the Blu-rays that I am bringing um, into the collection over the past few weeks. It's been... I feel like it's been almost four weeks since I've done the last installment. I want to make these episodes events. I don't want to do them every week. I don't even really want to do them every two weeks. I want to wait till I have a good amount of physical media to show off. Now, I have a variety of things. I have things that I have already reviewed on the channel that I've already showed off. I do like to cover those again if I didn't show them off on my last episode of Physical Media Lives. I've got some stuff I got from various sales. I've got some pieces of physical media I haven't showed off at all on the channel yet that I've been sitting on for about three or four weeks, it feels like. I've got subscriber mail. Just tons of stuff, guys. Tons of stuff to get into. I've got stuff in from studios and various boutique labels to run through. So we do not have a shortage of physical media to get into today. I've got a lot of stuff over there. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. But before I get into it, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and also comment down below whatever you want to comment in this video, guys, as we go. There's going to be a lot of stuff we go over. So you might have several comments. I don't care, guys, if you comment twice or three times or four times. It's all engagement and it all helps the video and helps the channel. So if you want to comment along as we're going through everything, feel free uh, to do so. So one thing that I, I do need to let you guys know real quick, if this is your first time watching an episode of Physical Media Lives, I understand that you may only be interested in certain things that I go over, so I will be leaving, this is pretty much the only video I do this for, time codes down below so you can skip to the parts that interest you the most. I'm going to have what I'm covering at specific points in time. It will be in the description. I'll also try to leave a pinned comment um, as well, just so you can guys, you can jump around. You can go to this thing first, and then you can go whatever interests you the most, whatever you want to prioritize. I don't care how you watch Physical Media Lives, just that you watch Physical Media Lives and you enjoy it. So episode four, guys, and I like these to be super casual. I don't like to go back and edit a bunch of stuff. So if I mess up, guys, that's that's just the way it is. I, I apologize. I've got a drink right here. I feel like I'm ready. Um, let's go ahead and kick things off with the first release that I want to talk about. This is a release that came out this past week, and that is When Evil Lurks. So I got it on the TV in the background back there. I just got done watching this. RLJE put this out this week, and I believe, guys, I'm going to link down below and put price points for all of the stuff that I'm covering for other studios and labels and everything like that. I'm not going to do that for just stuff that I pick up myself, but... When Evil Lurks, I think, is like $16.50 or something right now. It's a very affordable, cheap Blu-ray. And what I can tell you after just getting done watching it, it's still fresh in my mind, 100% worth it. It was one of the best horror films that I have seen at least in the past like two or three years. Now, is it a landmark horror film that I think is going to like change the course of horror forever? I feel like I heard some people say that. No, it's not. It is a unique take on the possession uh, genre, you know, about this kind of like this unknown evil that just is like taking over this town in Argentina. It is an Argentinian film, so it is um, a foreign language film with subtitles. So just so you know, guys, I know some people aren't huge fans of that, but I would encourage you to get past that and, and just read the little, the one inch barrier. Isn't that what Bong Joon-ho said when he won the Oscar? Get past the one inch barrier, read yourself some subtitles and enjoy different types of horror from different countries. I would definitely encourage that. But this was also a Shudder original. So it first came on Shudder and it's just now um, on physical media. So people have been talking about this one for, I feel like at least nine to 10 months, but I really enjoyed it. It definitely does not pull any punches. It is very brutal. And it is very brutal and gory throughout the entire runtime. Like, and it's 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 gross. Some parts of it are very gross, but it is very effective um, in its filmmaking and its style. And there were parts of it like I was like, okay, I, I couldn't understand. I don't think you're supposed to understand, but it's hard to understand like the mechanics of what's going on. Usually if it's like a zombie infection film, or in this case, a possession infection film is basically what it is. I like to know what I'm dealing with. I like to know how 
the spirits are like jumping from body to body. And this movie doesn't really explain it. It just feels like it's random. And there's like, there are rules and people seem to know about the rules, but nobody ever really explains the rules. Not that I need everything explained for me, but I just found it kind of hard to follow because they weren't quite explaining like how this happened and this person died, but they're back. How exactly does that work? I just, I don't know. I found myself getting lost a couple times while watching it, but it's still a very, very strong horror film that I would absolutely recommend. When Evil Lurks. Um, and it's it's available now, guys, for about sixteen fifty. Like I said, all right. Moving on, um, let's talk about Amelie. This is a Blu-ray. This is a new scan, I think, by Sony, a new two K scan. But I did get this uh, gorgeous steelbook. From what I heard, um, they could not do this movie in four K for some reason. They could only do the two K. Uh, restoration and it is supposed to be a better scan than the last blu-ray that they released i think sony has a blu-ray of this as well um i believe there are yes there is a new special feature with the director a look back special feature there's a commentary with the director on this as well let me go ahead and show this off but i didn't have this movie in the collection at all and i've heard some great things about this film so i am looking forward uh, to check in out Amelie, and it is a beautiful still book. And like I said, it's a Blu-ray, not a 4K, but from what I hear, they can't do a 4K. So I don't think that you're going to see this jump to 4K after you buy the Blu-ray, so I don't think you have to worry about that. But very cool still book. Let's take the J card off right there. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. Flip it on the back. And I got to look, sometimes with Amazon, they'll send me steelbooks with like little chips in it. I noticed my Rudy steelbook one time and some scratches on the side. This one appears to be unscathed. So it seems to be in pretty good condition. All right, so it looks like you don't get a digital code in here. So it is just the Blu-ray, uh, but some cool disc art and some cool uh, interior artwork in here as well. So I definitely appreciate that. But yeah, that is Amelie. Amelie, the Steelbook. And like I said, this is available uh, right now wherever Steelbooks and Blu-rays and physical media is sold. I got this off Amazon, but I'm pretty sure it's available at like Walmart and probably uh, Diabolic and Orbit and all those other places. Okay, let's get into my next release. All these are new releases that came out this week. That's just what was on top. This is completely random how I'm going through this, but I did get Primal uh, Fear with Richard Gere and Edward Norton. I have not yet watched this because obviously it's still in the plastic, but this is a new uh, Paramount Presents release. This is Spine number 43. I think I'm still missing um, a couple in this line from the Blu-ray era, but I think I do have all of the 4Ks. And uh, I'm not sure if this has the Blu-ray in it as well. Um, trying to think. Oh, I didn't know that uh, Frances McDormand appears to be in this movie also. I was not aware that she was in this movie. This is a very, very good movie, though. I am looking for uh, my knife. There it is. It's in the drawer next to me. See, guys, I'm not editing anything out of this, um, out of this video. Let me rip this plastic off. Bam, bam, bam. I am going to try to get through things just a little bit quicker because I've got like literally 40 pieces of physical media over there and I'm only on number three. And like I said, guys, I'm going to be doing unboxings. I'm going to be doing reviews of some of this stuff that I haven't yet talked about yet on the channel. Um, I didn't do standalone reviews for if I watch it, I will be talking about it. But Primal Fear, I may do a review for this one if I watch it and I think there's enough to talk about. I may do a review for it. I think there are some some new features here. There's a new filmmaker focus with executive producer Hawk Cock, uh, Koch, Hawk Cock. That sound that did not sound right. Um, let's see commentary with the director. You have Primal Fear, the final verdict. Primal Fear, stay witness. Psychology of guilt. Original theatrical trailer. So some good stuff here. There is Dolby Audio and Dolby Vision and HDR10 as well. Um, but I like these Paramount Present releases, guys, because you open it up and it's the uh, theatrical poster, the original poster for the movie. So that's definitely really cool. And then you take it out of the slip cover. And, uh, you know, these Paramount Presents, they've always had a really cool gimmick. And I've always liked, at least with their packaging, I've always liked collecting for them. Um, they have been a little spotty here and there with their releases. They haven't all looked absolutely fantastic on, on 4K or Blu-ray. Uh, but they always do have some interesting choices. I just don't like the way that, uh, you know, we'll have a Paramount per Presents release on Blu-ray and then they'll do a standalone 4K release from Paramount that's not a part of the Paramount Presents line. I just don't understand why they don't upgrade it within the line. And if they upgrade like Fatal Attraction to 4K, make that 4K 
a Paramount Presents 4K that goes in the line and keep the number on it. I would appreciate some some stuff like that. But other than that, I do I am a fan of this line. And right there, guys, just a Blu-ray case, a clear case, not a blue case. And uh, look, guys, I'm going to give away some digital codes while I'm doing uh, this video. So here's the uh, digital code for Primal Fear. If you want to grab that real quick. And I do like to check off when I give away a code. So let me mark that real quick. Somebody said to throw it away. I don't throw it away. If it's a part of the release, I just like to keep it in there. But you do have uh, the Blu-ray and the 4K here, each with individual disc art. One one has Edward Norton on it. One has Richard Gere. And then you take out the disc, and there's some artwork behind it as well. So definitely very cool. I'm looking forward to rewatching this one. And I bought the Blu-ray at a Big Lots, I feel like, for like four bucks a couple of years ago. Um, oh, it's got uh, Laura, Laura Linney in it as well. So that's cool. I do enjoy her. She's a good actress. Truman Show and, of course, Ozark recently. All right. Let me get this back in here. But yeah, that's all the that's the new releases, the stuff that came out this week. Uh, now we're going back into the past a little bit. I think I got this a couple of weeks ago, but I went ahead and grabbed I'll Always Know What You Did Last Summer because it went down to like $10.50 on Amazon. I was not going to pay $22 for this Blu-ray when it first came out because that was almost the same price as the 4Ks were for the first two. But I did want to add this to the collection. I know it's not a great movie, and to be honest, I haven't seen it. I haven't heard the greatest things about it. In fact, I've heard probably the most horrible things about it um but i do want to check it out at some point and i do part of me just i have to complete the franchise i just feel like i have to complete a franchise no matter how bad the installments get and uh you know i'm interested in watch i like stupid horror movies anyway so i may just enjoy this even though it's probably pretty bad but i'm not gonna bother unboxing this guys I'm, i'll always know what you did last summer i got that on blu-ray because it went down to 10 50 i didn't think that was a bad price what am i gonna say this one right here really kind of burns and stings a little bit, but I, I did grab American Gigolo, uh, the Blu-ray, and I grabbed this because I've been reading that 80s thriller book, and it references this movie quite a few times. Um, so I went ahead and bought it because I'm trying to, to watch the movies that it's referencing as I read the book, um, and then I'm probably going to do a video on that when I get done with it, but... American Gigolo bought the Blu-ray. This is a Paramount release. I think this was like nine fifty or ten bucks. But uh, this this week, guys, this past Thursday, it should be this past. It was today actually, but this past Thursday, once I put this up, uh, Arrow Video announced a 4K big box set edition of American Gigolo. So this is coming out on 4K very soon. And I just bought the Blu-ray. So the Blu-ray uh, curse absolutely exists, guys. Have you ever heard of the Blu-ray curse? This is a big thing in the physical media community. It basically suggests that when you buy a Blu-ray pretty randomly, um, that the 4K is not long to follow. Um, or it gets announced like within a couple of days because you hear people talk about that all the time Like I'll announce a 4k. They'll be like damn. I just bought the blu-ray uh, So that's definitely a thing if there's a movie that you really want to come to 4k um, Buy the blu-ray I've been thinking about buying from dust till dawn because I really want that on 4k And I feel like feel like if I finally buy that blu-ray, I think it's down to like 750 the 4K will be announced. But yeah, I grabbed this one. I watched it like just last week. It's cool though, because at least I've watched the Blu-ray when the 4K comes out, I get to watch it again and then review it. And I'll have some perspective on the film because I've already seen it and how it compares to the Blu-ray release. So that's that's kind of nice. I'm a little bit ahead of the game on American Gigolo. But uh, this is a cool movie though. And Richard Gere, this was like his starring like breakout role. He's great in this film. It's kind of a... Um, it's kind of a murder mystery thriller uh, with a little bit of erotic elements in it as well, but it's set in Hollywood, so it has that like Hollywood aesthetic, but it is directed uh, by Paul Schrader, so he's definitely a great director, great writer. I just watched Hardcore a couple of weeks ago, and that I would have loved for that to get a big box set release from Arrow Video on 4K. I wish that did, but Kino did a great 4K scan on that Blu-ray. It looks great. I would definitely recommend that, but... American Gigolo was a really cool film. Richard Gere was definitely uh, phenomenal in it. But he does a, there is a full frontal, uh, well, not full frontal, but like half full frontal uh, scene with, of Richard Gere. So get, 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 uh, look forward to that, guys. I can't talk. Get, get, get. I'm like freaking Porky Pig. Uh, <laughs> look forward to that uh, scene in 4K, guys. You thought Kevin Bacon's dong was something in 4K. Wait till you see, see the Gear dong in 4K, guys. 
that didn't sound right, but I don't know any other way to say it to make it sound right. All right, let's let's um, let's talk about ISS. I got this Blu-ray because it was very cheap and the premise was just too interesting to me. And I heard people say this was not good or it was very boring. I'm like, how could that premise be boring? Um, it's so cool, like the idea of people being in space, uh, Russians uh, and Americans on the International Space uh, Station. And, um, you know, all of a sudden war breaks out. World War III breaks out on Earth. They see nukes going off on planet Earth. That has to be terrifying. Like if you're up in space and then the countries are like telling them that they have to basically go to war with each other up in space and take over the space station. Each respective country is telling their people that. And I was like, how could that be bad? Like, that just sounds so good. But it's it's a very boring movie. It is, in fact, very boring. They didn't focus as much, I feel like, on the cat and mouse game that they could have between the two sides, the opposing sides, like trying to take the ship. Instead, they try to inject all this like interpo- interpersonal like relationship and emotional drama between the two, the, between the two sides and the characters. And I just don't think it worked. Like they could have done something. There's a really cool movie in in here somewhere, and they just absolutely failed. The writing, the characters, the performances, absolutely failed uh, to deliver on this movie. So yeah, ISS. I can't say I recommend it. It is only twelve bucks. So if you're just like really curious, maybe get it. But it's not going to cost you too much. But um, yeah, I got this. This is a decal releasing uh, release, and they're usually pretty pretty cheap. Um, I also got Michael Mann's new film, Ferrari, with Adam Driver and uh, Penelope Cruz. Shailene Woodley's in this as well. And I feel like I've heard some good things about this one. And I didn't watch it, though. It's still in the plastic. But this is also a decal releasing release. And I believe this is like 16 bucks or something. I'll definitely get to this one uh, sooner rather than later. Michael Mann film. So got to have it in the collection, right? And this one I meant to show off on last episode of Fiscal Media Lives. Uh, but I didn't get around to it. This is the Dragon Heart 4K Steelbook. I think I meant to bring it in here because I just got done watching it before I filmed and I didn't. But Dragon Heart, the 4K Steelbook, this is a Walmart exclusive. So I did watch this. And um, it looks good on 4K. It definitely looks good on 4K. Some of the dragon effects don't absolutely hold up and don't look the best in 4K. But I say largely the movie does look really good. Um, in 4K, Shout did a good job. And I hadn't seen this movie since I was a kid, but I remember loving it as a kid. Sean Connery voicing the dragon. You got Dennis Quaid in this movie. It's a fun little adventure that I feel like holds up for the most part, especially if you've got a certain level of nostalgia for the film back in the day. But I'm not going to say it's a masterpiece. I do think that if you're if you want to watch a dragon movie, probably go watch uh, the one that Paramount did last year. What was that? Dragon Slayer? Yeah, that was a really good dragon movie. Um, but this one's good too. You got the Blu-ray, you got the 4K, you got some interior artwork, really nice steel book uh, from Shout uh, Shout Factory and Walmart right there. So yeah, that's the Dragonheart steel book. I don't think they added anything new in terms of um, special features. There's a making of Dragonheart on here, but I, I think that's an older uh, making of. All right, so we've got the Lost Boys uh, triple uh, feature steelbook right here. I did pick this up at Walmart, but I thought I would unbox it here because I didn't unbox it in that video if you watched that hunt video. But I finally found the steelbook section in my local Walmart, so I figured I would grab myself a steelbook. So I grabbed the Lost Boys, and this has all three of the Lost Boys movies in it. Of course, the original, which I already have on 4K. And we also have The Lost Boys, The Tribe, and we have Lost Boys, The Thirst. So all three of them look to have Corey Feldman in it. So haven't seen the two sequels, and I can't say I've heard the best things about the two sequels, but uh, I'm, I, it's, like I said, I'm a franchise, but I need to own all the franchise. So if I have the first one, I want to have the other two and check them out at some point. And this looked like the steelbook was like all scratched to hell on the back, but I think that's just the artwork on the steelbook itself. But you got a vampire right here. I like how they have the cast list and stuff on the back of the steelbook, so you don't have to refer to the J card if you want to see that. Like I wish, uh, I know it takes away from the artwork, but I wish more steelbooks would maybe do stuff like that. At least the ones that don't require a bunch of artwork on the back. Um, but a cool release right here from, this is a Warner Brothers steelbook, I believe. But uh, this steelbook right here, is the uncut version of the tribe and then uh, or the disc and then we got uh, the lost boys right there and then we got the original lost boys so this is a three disc set all they're all on their their own discs so you got to appreciate that right 
I like how they put Corey Feldman on all three, or they put him on the Lost Boys. He's he. I would say he's maybe like the fifth most important character in the Lost Boys movie. Maybe even further down than that. I think Corey Haim is a more important character than he is in the movie, but... I guess because he carried on the franchise with the sequels. Um, anyway, that's The Lost Boys. Let me show off the camera in 4Ks real quick. And I already gave away all these digital codes on a live stream, guys. So I am sorry. But Aliens I got um, in this week. And um, uh, I'll unbox this one real quick because I haven't done a review for it yet. I will be doing a review for this one. I actually watched the first Alien uh, last night on 4K because I haven't watched it yet on my new OLED TV. And I want to see how that compares to Aliens, because of course, Alien is a Ridley Scott movie. This is a James Cameron uh, film. Um, I want to see how those restorations compare, because I think that they should be pretty comparable with how they look, right? You would think. Um, but, you know, James Cameron did this one. I'm sure it looks like a, a video game in parts, like his other two restorations did. But right there, guys, this is a three disc set, it looks like. So you do have... Disc one, movie two versions plus bonus features. So I guess there's two cuts of Aliens. I don't watch Aliens too often, but I, I look guys, I appreciate this disc art that they're putting on here. You know, not a lot of studios do that. And you got the uh, the bonus features disc, and you also got the Blu-ray disc with the two versions as well with the Xenomorph on it. That's cool. Like I I appreciate that. I appreciate the little things. And the different colored discs as well. So yeah, you get the uh, both versions on 4K, both versions on Blu-ray, and then you get the bonus features disc, which I don't think they added any new special features to this one. They only did with um, with Abyss and True Lies. But I will be reviewing this one soon, guys, on the channel within the next week. I'll be watching this one and giving my thoughts on the, uh, the 4K transfer and the movie itself, to be honest, because I haven't seen Aliens in a very long time. Um, but True Lies and the Abyss, I already did reviews for these on the channel, guys. Unboxings, gave my deep dive thoughts on both. Go check out those reviews if you haven't already. All right, guys. So this is from the Groove sale. Uh, Groove had like a, I think a six for, I think it was like three for 17. So I got six Blu-rays and I got all of these for 34 bucks. Now, I really try to pick out movies that I don't think are going to get upgraded, but probably half of these are going to get upgraded due to the Blu-ray curse within the next few months, I can I can pretty much guarantee. But I really try to pick out movies that I just don't think they're going to give the time of day um, on 4K. One of those is Hardcore Henry. And I just, I don't know if I see the point in upgrading this one. It's first person. This one definitely feels like a video game action film, first person shooter. I don't, I don't know if they would do this one on 4K. Maybe they would, but I don't feel like they would. And this one I watched on streaming, like, I don't know, when did this come out? 2016? I think I watched it in like 2018 or something on Netflix. Um, but I was really surprised. I was like, damn, this movie is really a lot of fun because I am I used to be a big gamer, so I used to play a lot of first-person shooters. And this was like a first-person shooter movie, uh, pretty much. So I thought this was a ton of fun, really enjoyed it, so glad to have it in the collection. I also got We Are Marshall, and uh, this one has, uh, who is in this? Matthew McConaughey, of course, but is that, um, is that, uh, what's his name? Oh, Matthew Fox. Okay, I thought that was um, the guy, Patrick Wilson. It almost looked like Patrick Wilson, but I haven't seen We Are Marshall, and this is another movie. Warner Brothers put this out. I just don't feel like they'll do a 4K for it, but I could be wrong. Um, when I picked that up, I like me a good sports inspirational uh, sports movie. I got Patch Adams with Robin Williams. I used to like watching Patch Adams a lot when I was a kid. I haven't seen this one in quite some time. And this one, I don't feel like they'll do a 4K for. But again, I could be wrong. There's so many other Robin Williams movies I would love to see on 4K before Patch Adams. Like, do Mrs. Doubtfire. Do, um, do uh, Jack. Give me Jack on 4K. I want Jack on 4K. Um, I got to, I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry on Blu-ray. Another one that I don't see them doing a 4K for just because I think the subject matter is a little out of date and and probably offensive to some people um, at this point in time. So I, this is one of those comedies I just don't see them. I don't see them making a movie like this today and I don't see them redoing this one on 4K. But I could be wrong. I mean, Tropic Thunder, I feel like offended a lot of people and they did a 4K for that. But um, I don't know. This is just kind of the lowest common denominator comedy. And I don't, I don't, I don't love this movie. Um, but it is an Adam Sandler film. I do love Adam Sandler, and I do at one point want to have at least all of his bigger studio films, not all the Netflix stuff, um, in the collection at some point. But 
it's a, it's a pretty fun movie though. It's I now pronounce it Chuck and Larry. I thought it was worth getting, especially for like, you know, five dollars and sixty cents or whatever. But I also got Aaron Brockovich. This is the one that out of all of these, I feel like I could see them doing a 4K for in the near future. Universal has this. Um, this is one I could see them doing, or maybe Universal licensing this to Kino Lorber or something. I could see it happening through them, but this is a really good movie. Um, I haven't seen this one probably since 2002, 2003, but I remember I, I watched this one quite frequently um, back in the day. I, I liked it a lot, and, Aaron, and um, Julie Roberts is excellent in this. I believe she got an Oscar nomination. If, if she didn't win, um, don't quite remember, but yeah, Julie Roberts, great in this movie. It's about the water contamination thing, which I, I feel like they've made like two or three other movies about the same water contamination scandal that went on um, in the 80s or 90s. But yeah, this is a good one. And she's great in this movie. This has got a lot, a ton of iconic lines and moments in it. And Julie Roberts, you know, showing her cleavage a lot. It's it's a great time. Aaron Brockovich, I highly recommend it. If you haven't seen it, it's definitely one of Julia's best. Um, also got this Coen Brothers movie, Burn After Reading. I actually have never seen Burn After Reading, so I am excited uh, to check this one out. And I, I want all the Coen Brothers movies in my collection. They are directors that I do really enjoy. And maybe this gets a 4K. Like I said, this, I could see Kino doing this. It's a Universal, and I know Universal will license stuff out to them sometimes, but... I don't know. I don't, that maybe Criterion, they like to do a lot of Cohen stuff. So it could get a 4K, but I just went ahead and bought um, the Blu ray. But that's my groove haul. Let's go ahead and, and show off these two real quick. Not going to do deep dive unboxings, but I did get Green Room from Second Sight. I have a review for, for this up on the channel. So go check it out as I do Possessor as well. Both of these beautiful, stunning, gorgeous. Uh, second sight editions right here. I did my review of these two together in one video, so you can go check it out. But um, yeah, I love these editions. I thought they looked great. They had great special features and they were well worth uh, my money. Both of these are great movies. I love Possessor and really like uh, Green Room a lot. So yeah, great second sight editions right there. Um, like I said, guys, I just like recovering this stuff even if i already reviewed it somebody may not have checked out my review of it so i just like to give my short thoughts on things that i've already reviewed okay um moving on so all this stuff was sent to me by various uh, boutique labels and studios so um some stuff i didn't even know i was getting so it's going to be a complete surprise to me but let's start with this icons unearthed uh star wars this is some kind of documentary on uh, Star Wars and Mill Creek put this out. This is a six part documentary series. Uh, you got bonus features include over six hours of full unseen interviews with Marsha Lucas, who I think is George Lucas's ex wife, Anthony Daniels, who is C3PO, and Billy D. Williams, who of course is Lando Calrissian. But I used to be the biggest Star Wars fan like in the world. I love these movies and I watched them all the time. And then Disney came in and they look, I try to not to be, I try not to be the guy who's like Disney killed Star Wars, but they kind of did. So I can't, I can't really lie about it. I was excited when they brought it back with the force awakens. I liked the last Jedi when I saw it in the theaters, but I still felt like something was off. Hated rise of Skywalker. Thought rogue one was pretty decent. Um, I thought Solo was decent, not pretty decent, but but decent. And then they started in with The Mandalorian, which I loved the first two seasons. And then they just kept releasing shows. And I'm like, I can't keep up anymore. Uh, just stop because you're just making a fool of yourselves and the franchise. And I just can't do it anymore. But um, this one right here, a documentary. So could be a cool one to check out for sure. And this one is available already. I'll do a little unboxing here to show it off. And, uh, yeah, like, I mean, as long as this one stays focused on the original trilogy, which I'm pretty sure it probably does, I'll be fine. This is probably worth checking out. Um, but, uh, I, I still love the original trilogy, but I just, I, I like the prequels too, but like the new stuff I just cannot get into guys. I hate to be a Debbie Downer, but this is a two disc set right here. So that's pretty cool. And uh, it's got a nice slip cover. So you can't beat that. Yes, the uh, I'll leave all the details, the date it came out. It, this already came out, I'm pretty sure, but I'll leave the price and all that stuff. And I will link it down below in the description so you can guys can get it if you want to. Um, but yeah, the uh, Icons Unearthed Star Wars. Cool. Check it out. Uh, we also got the Inspector 2 Wears Skirts. The Inspector Wears Skirts 2. So I do have the first one. I haven't watched the first one yet from 88 Films. And I have not watched the sequel. I just got this one in. But... 
Mm. Looks like a cool movie about uh, it's a kung fu action film. It looks like, and I, I don't, I can't remember if um, Michelle Yeoh was in the first one or not. But uh, I'm sure that these are actresses that are definitely inspired by Michelle Yeoh, Angela Wong, um, Angela Mao. Sorry, guys. <laughs> But from the Lady Whirlwind films. But anyway, let me take this off. I like uh, 88 film slip covers. They feel very durable. They're a different kind of texture than like vinegar syndrome, but they have the same kind of durability to them. So I appreciate that. Great artwork right here as well. Show you the front, show you the back. Go ahead and slip this out. Show you the front, show you the back. Open it up right here. You got some cool disc art on there as well. It doesn't look like we have any reversible cover arts, but we do have a nice poster here, double-sided poster of the film. So very cool. I, I don't know anything about this movie. I really don't. I'm sure it's a chicks kicking ass type of movie. And, uh, you know, I'll check it out at some point, guys. Don't worry. I will check out the inspector wear skirts too. But again, I'll leave all the details down below in the description on how you can get it. Uh, this one I didn't expect to get. I, I'm pretty sure I, I made fun of this a little bit in the physical media report this past week uh, with my zoom in and, and enhance segment that I did. But all ladies uh, do it. And this is some kind of erotic thriller from the 90s, I believe. I think it's an Italian film as well, but it could be wrong. It's a film by Tinto Brass. And this is a 4K. And I this is from Cult Epics. And I think this might be maybe the first 4K that Cult Epics has done. I've gotten some Cult Epics stuff before. And I don't remember them doing a 4K. So somebody let me know in the comments if you know. Um, but this looks like a very interesting film. A very steamy film that may be uh, worth my time. But a nice slipcover. Nice gloss on that. That's a nice glossy slipcover. I do appreciate that. And yeah, this is some kind of a film about a, a woman discovering her sexuality. I think she's married and she's like going out cheating on her husband or something from what I was reading. But um, that's not right, right? But it could make for an interesting, uh, thrilling film. And uh, look at that. My goodness, this is a... I don't know if I could show this on YouTube. I don't think I can show these cards on YouTube, guys. Uh, but we do have this movie. This has a Blu-ray and it also has a 4K... Um, as well. And um, I am not going to show these cards, but there are cards and I will show myself looking at them. Uh, but uh, there's, a, yeah, I can't, uh, I'll show the back of this book, but I can't show um, anything else. Uh, <laughs> this is a, this is a naughty movie, guys. Um, I don't know, honestly, if I'll be watching this, <laughs> but I do have it in the collection now. Um, so if you're into this kind of steamy, erotic thriller stuff, um, you know, check it out. Maybe I'll, I'll leave the link down below. Uh, but yeah, this is all ladies do it. Cool stuff. That feels like it should be a part of the, uh, the vinegar syndrome porn line. What's it called? The Mesa Messalini or whatever. I, I forget. Uh, I also got fog hats. This is the complete opposite of all ladies do it. This is a concert film. Um, and I trying to see who put this out. MVD visual put this out. And yeah, this is, uh, uh, from the band Foghorn who, who did the song slow ride, which is a great song. And, uh, this is a concert film. So that's cool. I don't have many concert films in the collection. This is another one. I had no idea I was getting until I pulled it out of the package. MVD will just send me stuff guys. But if you're interested, I will link it down below. Nice gloss on that slipcover. These glossy slipcovers are nice. But I'll show you the back right there. This has all the songs that are presented on the concert film. So definitely very cool. And then I'll take it out. You got a nice Blu-ray right here. The front and the back. Open it up. You got some cool disc art. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And I'll go ahead and... Put this over here and we'll move on to Mean Guns. I was looking forward to this one because I read the premise and this premise sounds very interesting. This is an MVD Rewind release. This is number 59 of the MVD Rewind line. And let me go ahead and open this one up. And I like the MVD Rewind slipcovers. They're very retro and they just they were they take you back to that old school like video store uh, setting and aesthetic. And this is uh, it says sparks fly when. Real killers collide. 
And uh, I think this is uh, the world's most dangerous criminals are summoned to a new prison on the E before its grand opening by Moon. Ice T is in this movie, the ruthless leader of the world's most powerful crime syndicate. So Ice T is the leader of a crime syndicate here. Chaos ensues when weapons and ammunition are passed around in the group, um, including Lou, who's played by Christopher Lambert, who's in this movie begin to begin their fight to survive the last three men standing by midnight have been promised ten million dollars in cash by moon so uh very cool wasn't that the name of the guy the promoter from the sing movies moon played by matthew mcconaughey is that a similar uh, type of situation but this is a movie from 1997 so it's not like an old film or anything but the movie sounds really cool I i'm definitely going to be checking this out uh sooner rather than later so maybe if I check it out, I can give you guys my thoughts. If it's interesting enough, I may just do a standalone review for it. You never know. Um, but let me pop this sucker open. You got the disc art right there. Mean Guns on Blu-ray. I like how MVD puts a little poster in here as well. It's not huge or anything, but it's cool that they bother to do that. This also has a reversible artwork. You flip it, and I imagine that's the original poster for the movie. I would imagine, but mean gun, mean guns, mean guns. I like the sticker too. That's on the front the action sticker, mean guns. This one is, I think this one is coming out soon. I don't think it's out yet. I think it comes out. I'll put the date down below. I don't even know why I bother to talk about it, but mean guns looks pretty cool. Um, definitely check it out. I also got, uh, this is from arrow video. This is an arrow video release. This is the Scarface mob. So some type of a Scarface interpretation. This has Robert Stack in it from uh, Unsolved Mysteries. Uh, wrapping my legs around him, cuddling in the spoon position. Um, I think that's the same Robert Stack that's in this movie. Uh, I always have to say that line from basketball. Whenever I hear Robert Stack, I think of Unsolved Mysteries. And then that takes me straight to basketball. Um, so yeah, which he's great. So great in that movie that he played along and actually did that. All right. I, I'm, I'm accumulating so much plastic on the table over here. It's insane. But we got the Scarface mob from, mob from Arrow Video. Um, let me take a little drink, guys. My throat is getting dry. I'm stumbling all over the place in my words, trying to get through these releases as quickly as possible. But anyway, the Scarface mob right here, guys. I am definitely excited to check this out. When is What year is this from? Uh, this is from 1959. So yeah, this is in, looks like it's an Al Capone story. I, I saw Al Capone. This takes place in the 1929s. So you're going to be dealing with bootlegging, booze, and prohibition laws, and all that kind of stuff. It's a gangster film, guys. The Scarface Mob. Cool release for Arrow Video. I know some people aren't very happy with Arrow Video and what they've been putting out this year. I just, you're not going to get the year you got last year. That's all I'm going to say. Hopefully they do some cool stuff for the years out, but... It almost feels like they're taking a little bit of a breather in 2024. Hopefully they come back and hit strong in 2025. But I mean, the year's only halfway over. They still got six months of what could be incredible announcements and releases. We don't know, but it does feel like they're taking a little bit of a breather, but they are doing some cool stuff. And I mean, if you're into these gangster films from the 50s and they've done some cool Westerns and they're still doing cool stuff. It's just they're not firing like they were last year. That's for damn sure. But the Scarface Mob, I'm I'm excited to check it out. I'm sure it's got some new features and stuff like that. Take out the slip cover, show the front, show the back, open it up. We got some art cards that I can show. I can show these art cards. It looks like there's All right, there's a poster and there's a booklet and there's cards. I knew this felt heavy. But it uh, looks like we got some images on the back of the cards. Um, but then you got images on the front as well that I can show off. Bada boom, bada bing. Some cool stuff, guys. Bam. Bam. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Um, and then we got, uh, yeah, the poster. Gonna have the original classic poster, and then you're gonna have the newly commissioned artwork poster, which is cool. And then we got a booklet, you know, and that has a girl on it that's showing her stuff a little bit, but she's she is covered. She's more classy than that girl from the ladies do it right, or whatever that movie was called. <laughs> the dirty movie that's in my collection. Alright. Let me put this back in here. Did I show you the disc yet? That's the disc, Blu-ray disc. We'll go ahead and flip it. 
flip the artwork and right here you just have the original the original artwork so but yeah that's the new era release guys comes out in a couple of weeks again i'll i'll leave all that stuff down below i'll put it somewhere you should have saw it somewhere price dates somewhere in this vicinity uh, is where i usually put it all right let's move on to knights of the blood monster this is a new release from blue underground i watched this the other night this is directed by jess franco and Blue Underground, guys, they just do some of the best restorations, and this looked incredible on 4K, absolutely incredible on 4K. Their stuff just looks so filmic and so nice. This is a movie from 1970, definitely has like those gothic horror vibes for sure, and Christopher Lee is in this movie, um, and he does a great job in this movie. He's, he plays a judge, and the other name for this movie, guys, is The Bloody Judge. Um, I think that's what they call it in Italy or England or wherever this movie came out. I don't think it's an American-based film, but um, this is called The Bloody Judge. He, he plays a judge that is basically uh, putting these women on trial for being witches, and he's torturing these women. This is a movie that if you are sensitive to, and who and who's not really, but if you're sensitive to violence against women, women being tortured, you may not want to check this movie out. And I'm not saying it's too extreme. Um, it's not like, you know, some of those French horror films, like what's that one called inside, which I haven't even watched yet, but I can only imagine martyrs, all that kind of stuff. I wouldn't say it's, it's of that level. This is back in 70. So it is a little bit more reserved and subdued. Um, but it does have a lot of violence against women, a lot of torturing sequences, um, of women. There are a few, uh, kind of sleazy scenes, but to be honest, like for this being a Jess Franco film, who's kind of known as the master of sleaze and exploitation, it's relatively tame. I've seen some other stuff from him that uh, go a lot further. So I say for Jess Franco, this is relatively tame and actually feels just like a regular old school, like gothic um, almost historical, like war, gothic horror film. There's some war sequences in this movie as well. It's a lot of different things, but a really good release by Blue Underground. Great, great artwork on the front right there. And hell, I could be getting in trouble for some of these images, to be honest. Uh, but I'll show you the back right there. You can see the specs. There are some, some commentaries, a lot of commentaries here, a lot of good special features on here. I don't think this has been released from Blue Underground before, so these special features should be... Uh, new special features um, or maybe some archival stuff from a previous release. I'm sure this has got released before, but on the inside, I got the artwork reversed and it does have the bloody judge uh, poster right there, but you flip it around, um, open it up. You do get a Blu-ray of the film. I imagine with the 4k scan and the Blu-ray and then we'll reverse this artwork back to the original commissioned artwork right there on the cover. So very cool stuff, guys. I, I did enjoy this release. I think it's worth getting. It is it is a very good movie, and um, it's a great transfer. Blue Underground does a great job. So Night of the Blood Monster, I recommend getting that. Again, I'll link it down below. Um, one that I do really recommend getting, this one came out this week also. I got this in from Lionsgate a couple of weeks ago and watched it uh, with my wife. We actually reviewed it on our channel, Married With Media, which if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. The, but The Iron Claw... Um, is a great movie. This is based on the story, the real life story of the Von Erich family, a wrestling family back in the uh, 70s and 80s is where they really kind of came to prominence. And the family was just overtaken by tragedy after tragedy after tragedy that just let them down this dark path that they couldn't quite uh, recover from before it was too late. So this is a great story and it's a very sad movie and it, it, it will, it'll move you to tears guys. It really will. There's some really, the movie, I'll say this as sad as it is and as tragic as it is, it does leave you on a high note and leave you feeling good about the future of the family that was left in this film. I'll just say that. Uh, but Zac Efron was an absolute revelation in this movie. This this performance should have been nominated for Best Actor. And I know the A24 kind of dropped the ball in getting this to the Academy before they could vote. But like he should have been up for Best Actor, like the the front runner right there with Killian Murphy um, as far as Best Actor because Zac Efron 
was fantastic in this movie. Everybody was great, but I feel like this was really his movie and his time to shine in this film. Um, but I love The Iron Claw. I thought it was a great, great film and probably... I would say firmly in like my top three of last year for sure. It'd be up there with like Godzilla minus one and Oppenheimer is like three of my favorite movies that came out last year. Really great film. Uh, but the Blu-ray, this doesn't have a 4K. I don't know if they'll do a 4K of the Iron Claw or not. Maybe A24 will do an exclusive somewhere down the line. I don't know. You never really know. But it has a DVD. It has a Blu-ray. And there is a digital code on the inside, but I already gave that away. And you do have the DVD and the Blu-ray inside um, of this release. So yeah, this is one that I highly recommend. I think it's like $19.96 right now. Again, I will link it down below. All right, so we got some stuff from Warner Brothers to get into next. And some stuff that I, I, I wanted to watch these before I did this, but I just couldn't bring myself to check them out. Not just yet. But Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, Warner Brothers sent this to me. Um, I do want to see this. I do want to see this because I saw the first one and it's a James Wan film and I just feel like I need to support James Wan and check out his movies. But I just really don't want to watch a superhero movie and I really don't want to watch an Aquaman movie at this point. And I didn't hear the best things about this movie anyway. Um, but I do like the people involved. I like Patrick Wilson. I like Jason Momoa. I like James Wan. Um, so I'll check it out at some point. I just haven't yet. I'm sure it looks great on 4k and it's a great slip cover. I like the white and just how that looks with the banner at the top. But look guys, I'll, I'll go ahead and give away the digital code. If you want to check it out, let me, let me take it out of the plastic here. And I'm sure that this only has a 4k disc. That's the standard now it seems with Warner brothers. So we'll go ahead and open it up. And yes, you only have the 4k disc right here, but you also have the digital code which I will give away. There you go. All right. Um, so yeah, you got some new special features here as well. Finding the Lost Kingdom, Aquaman Worlds Above and Below, Atlantean Blood is Thicker Than Water, It's a Manta World. So lots of good features on this one. If you're an Aquaman fan, a DC fan, um, I think this is pretty much like the last what they call the DCEU movie before the James Gunn's before James Gunn's new universe. So it's kind of a historic film in that way, I guess. But Aquaman, the last kingdom guys uh, came out a few weeks ago, but uh, I'm just now showing it off. I also, I think Warner brothers made a mistake. Um, <laughs> they must've made a mistake. Uh, I got two copies of the color purple on 4k. So what I'm going to do guys is we're going to do a 4k uh, giveaway. And all you need to do um, is comment down below and say, hey, I want the color purple on 4K. And then also leave me a place to email you the code, a, a social media account, Twitter account, Instagram account, whatever account, uh, something that I can reach you by. And if you leave that comment, I want the, the color purple on 4K, you leave me a place to reach you, email, Instagram, social media account, whatever. I will enter you in a drawing and I'll pick your name out and that's who had it. that's how I'll decide who wins uh, the color purple. But if you just put down there, I want the color purple, you don't leave me a place to find you or you say, I don't even have a social media account, can I have no place for you to reach me, then I can't enter you. I'm sorry, I have to have a way to reach you other than the comment section um, of my video. So the color purple guys, I haven't watched it yet. I love the original though. I watched it for the first time last year. Let's go ahead and unbox it. I'll leave one sealed, obviously. Uh, let me open up the one that's rattling uh, because I can feel a disc uh, being loose in that one. But I love the artwork on this one. And this is a remake that uh, came out last December and it's more of a musical than the original is uh, from what I was hearing. Kind of showed the specs right there. But I'm, I'm interested in checking it out. I didn't hear bad things. I heard it was pretty good actually, but... I just haven't watched it yet. I guess because I just watched the original for the first time and I'm like, I need to wait a little bit before I check out the remake, I feel like, to appreciate it because it is the same story again. Um, I'm not like other people that have been watching it since 1985 and now I get to see a different uh, interpretation of the same story uh, written by Alice Walker, I believe, who, who wrote the original novel. Um, but right there, guys, I'll flip it, show you the back. And uh, if you don't want a physical copy, and yes, the disc is loose in here. Um, let me put that back there. Nice purple disc. I appreciate that. And let me show you the digital code. If you want a digital copy, I'll give that away. 
color purple on 4K. It's also available on Blu-ray as well, guys. And if you don't win the uh, physical copy, I'll leave the link down below as always. But there you go. Color purple. It's got a good amount of special features as well here uh, that I'll zoom in on. Uh, if it can focus so you can check out. All right. Let me put that there. But yeah, guys, giveaway. Just write down below. I want the color purple, Ken. I want the color purple. Even if you've already commented before on something else, just leave me a comment. I want the color purple and then leave me some place to reach you. Okay. I, I said it multiple times. So I hope you guys, I hope you guys do it right. And oh my goodness, I got something else, guys. I forgot about this one, but I have the Expendables 4 film collection right here uh, from Lionsgate as well. And let's take the plastic off of this one. So I just did the Saul sets a few weeks ago. I did an individual video for that. That was not the best set. Let's see if they, they did a little bit better with this one. I imagine they will because it's less discs. Um, but, you know, I'll show you the J card right there on the back. You guys want to zoom in on that? I already have most of these movies on Blu-ray and 4K because I got all the steel books. Um, but you do have some nice art cards in here. And I saw Rhonda Rousey on the back. Um, if I can get these out of the plastic, I will. All right. There we go. There we go. All right. So you got some cool artwork on here. And then you got a cool... Uh, card of Stallone. You got Dolph Lundgren on the back. Is that Stallone's name in the movie? Barney Ross? Are you kidding me? Uh, you got Jason Statham right there. Um, you got uh, the guy from White Chicks. Why can I not remember his damn name? Terry Crews. There we go. Um, cool cards. You got Arnold right there. And then on the back, you got uh, Luna, who is Ronda Rousey. Um, so some cool cards in here, I'll say that for sure. And then you got the actual Blu-ray case with all the movies in it. And you open it up and you got a digital code, which I'll give away. Because I'm a great guy, guys. Come on, look at all this digital code love I'm giving you all today. Um, okay, so we have the Expendables on Blu-ray. We have the Expendables 2 over here on Blu-ray. You flip it, you have the Expendables 3 and the Expendables 4. So you have all the Expendables in one shot. You have The Expendables on DVD, you have The Expendables 2 on DVD, and you have The Expendables 3 and 4 on DVD. So I like the artwork on that DVD of The Expendables, though, I will say that. So you got eight discs in this set. I don't think there's any discs stacked on discs. But this is, compared to the Saw sets, probably because there's less discs, uh, this is a lot nicer. So... If you do not have the Expendables films, I think this is a good way uh, to own them. This is a nice set. It has art cards on the inside. It's a nice case with some good uh, durability to it. It's not the most durable. Um, it's not the most durable, but there is some good durability, sturdiness um, to this case. So there you guys go. The Expendables 4 film Blu-ray collection. All right, that's everything from the studios. Let's get into some other unboxings. I've got other physical media over here. I've got subscriber stuff. Let's do this t-shirt. Somebody sent me a t-shirt uh, to my in my PO box. Uh, they just reached out to me on Instagram. They've got a t-shirt uh, store, which I'll try to link that down below. Um, and they said, hey, can we want to send you one of our t-shirts to uh, promote and wear in one of your videos? And I said, sure. And uh, I'm trying to remember what company it's from. Physical media t-shirts, uh, physical media t-shirts at gmail.com. Uh, so I think that's what the the uh, the company's called, physical media t-shirts. No, it's Apocalypse, or no, that's the name of my shirt. Uh, physical media t-shirts, okay. Let me take this out, show it off. That's pretty cool, you got people out there making physical media t-shirts. And this one says, I love the smell of physical media in the morning. So obviously it's a play on Apocalypse Now. I think that's what I picked because I just watched Apocalypse Now when they asked me. So um, yeah, some cool slogans and sayings for sure. Definitely check out uh, the physical media t-shirts site, which I will also link uh, down below. All right, so this box right here is from Terror Vision. I recently, um, or not recently, but last year, I think I ordered this and it finally came in. Um, but 
it didn't just come in. I think I've had this for about a month, pretty much ever since the last episode of Physical Media Liz. But I was excited for this release, and I ordered it immediately. So let me take this out. All right, and I like TerraVision because they always send me a dum dum, a little lollipop. So I appreciate that. And uh, we got a sticker in here as well. And uh, yeah, Dante's Inferno. This is a film from 1911. So I am happy to have a film from 1911 in the collection. Look at this artwork. Freaking awesome artwork. The back right there. Super cool. I need to watch more of my Terravisions. Because uh, I do own a lot and I still haven't watched one. Uh, but they uh, they do good work. And they've got Vinegar Syndrome level packaging right here. And we'll open it up. And uh, Moving Pictures Sensation of 1911. Um, very cool that, that TerraVision though, you don't see many of the boutique labels going back and, and tackling the teens, uh, for sure. And this thing looks like it's, it's pretty loaded with special features. Looking on the back. Definitely some cool stuff. Got the front right there. Good artwork. Open it up. All right. Let's see. Got a nice card, subscription service, the subscription models on the back. But uh, on the inside, you got some disc arts. You got um, some interior artwork. So yeah, definitely, definitely a very cool release. And they have a nice booklet on the inside as well, which is very cool. Just kind of flip through it a little bit. You got some images and some writing, some text in there. So that is pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, Dante's Inferno. I am excited to go on a Terravision binge and check this out. Check out all my other Terravision releases. Um, but there you go. Dante's Inferno. If I would have... no, I, I didn't realize that's what that was over there in the box until I got to it. But I should have just unboxed that and went over that with all my other uh, physical media. But uh, anyway. All right. So we got two subscriber unboxings to do. Um, let's get into this one first. This is from my buddy Ryan Nar, who always sends me some stuff. Pretty much every subscriber unboxing you can count on a on something from Ryan. Um, well, let's see what he got. He got he got me one of these small packages right here, and then we got a big package. I'll get into in a second. All right, and this video is going to be running long, guys. That's what happens when I wait so long. Um, this is uh, Tornado Run. What is this, Ron? Is this a game? This is a DVD. I don't know what Tornado Run is. And who put this out? Scimitar? I don't know what the hell this is. Tornado Run. Let me know if you guys know what that is. It's in a DVD or a CD case. And then we also got... There's a steel book here of You Only Live Twice, which is a James Bond film. So that's cool. Steel book of You Only Live Twice. Thanks, Ron. And then we got uh, Triple Threat, which is Welgo. It's a new Welgo title. So that's cool. Thanks, Ron. I appreciate that. I like that steel book of the James Bond film. I don't own that movie in the collection, so that's actually pretty cool. All right, let me throw that to the side. And we got a huge monster box. Let me back up here a little bit. Um, this is from Jesse Brown, um, who's a frequent watcher of my channel and also my wife and I's channel, Mary with Media. Uh, so let me, all right, unbox this the best way that I can. This is a lot. Um, all right. Oh my goodness, Jesse. Okay, look. I, this, <laughs> this is not physical media. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tease, uh, and this is to me and my wife. I was not clear on that. I thought it was just uh, to me, but there's stuff in here that I don't feel I should unbox on this channel, but I should wait and unbox with my wife on our channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this box of goodies for Monday night on our live stream over on Married with Media. And we will unbox this over there together. Um, so there you go. I, I didn't know what that was. I thought it was going to be like a bunch of physical media or something. But it's something different. It's something that looks good. But it, it's something different. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this uh, episode of Physical Media Lives. Episode 
Four. It was a lot. That was a lot of physical media. That was a lot of unboxing. That was a lot of talking. I'm exhausted. Um, like, comment, subscribe, turn on bell notifications. Follow me in all my social media accounts down below in the description. And guys, we'll see it. We'll see you in episode five, and I'll see you in all my other videos in between. But this this is a big one. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, see you guys next time.